Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Hudson Field, where today your Hazen Wildcats will be taking on the visiting U32 Raiders. So first, I'll give a quick read to our sponsors. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Sports and DR Property Maintenance, 793-388. Call the doctor for all your property needs. You're watching HCTV Channel 1080, www.hctv.us. So I'll get you the starters here in just a moment, folks, for your Wildcats today. I know we have Lyle Rooney on the mound. We have James Montgomery behind the plate. We have Asia Gould at first base. We have Tyson Davison at second base. Tyler Revard at short. Andrew Menard is at third base. And in the outfield, we have Jazz Zendik in left field. Uh, Jazz Zendik in left field. Jazz Zendik, I'm sorry in left field. We have Jaden Baker in center and we have Dan DeGrosliers in right field. So that is the starting nine for your Wildcats this afternoon. <laughs> Beautiful day for baseball here at Hazen Union High School in Hardwick, Vermont. As we are just about to get underway here, folks, Rooney's taking his last few warm-up pitches before the first batter of the game will stand in. Rooney, a very, very good right-handed pitcher for the Wildcats. Throws hard. It's good stuff on the mound. One of the toughest pitchers to hit in the league. Up says two more. So now, number 15, Mislack, will stand in, the right fielder for the U32 Raiders. He will stand in and face Rooney, the big left-handed bat for the U32 Raiders. He's their left fielder. Rooney now from the rubber. He'll wind and deliver. And there is a first pitch strike, and we are underway, folks here at Dan Hudson Field, home of the Hayes and Wildcats. First pitch was a good one by Rooney, a one count. Rooney now winds and delivers. That's in there for a strike, back-to-back -back strikes by Lyle Rooney. As the lefty Mislack behind in the count. That's high for a ball, one and two. Look good, just a bit high there by Rooney. Miss Lack now has to <coughs> choke up now, try and put something in play. Rooney kicks and fires. That's outside for a ball, two and two. The count runs back even. Now Rooney from the wind, he'll deliver. And that's in there for a called strike three. So, Mislack goes down, that'll be a backwards K. Looking. As now number five, Star stands in. He will be the first baseman for the U32 Raiders. He digs in at the plate. Rooney winds and delivers. That's in there for a strike. Nice pitch there by Rooney. I believe that was a first pitch breaking ball. Looks like a curve ball because it kind of started high, dropped at the end. Rooney now from the set. He'll wind and deliver. That's a high twist and foul ball. That landed on the hill. That one was sky high, but I think the wind knocked that one down. Here. No balls, two strikes now to star. Hey, let's go, Shane. 
Here comes the 0-2 from Rooney. That's driven hard up the middle, and that'll be a base knock. Shane Starr will get the first hit of the ball game for the U32 Raiders. Hard hit, single up the middle. Now Bourgeois will stand in for the U32 Raiders. So Rooney with a runner on first, one out. Rooney's gonna wind and fire. Bourgeois shows bunt, he bunts it back. Rooney slips on the mound. And that'll be a throwing error to first base. So Rooney tried to recover from slipping off the mound there. That will be an E1 on Lyle Rooney. Throwing error. as Bourgeois will reach on an error. Standing in now is Hoffman, the pitcher for the U32 Raiders. Rooney now with runners at first and second. He'll wind and fire, he shows bunt. He'll watch that one for a strike. Montgomery with a snap throw down to second. Starr dives back in safely. Now Rooney, the hard throwing ace for the Hazen Wildcats, back on the rubber. Hill will wind and deliver. That's low for a ball, nice stop by Montgomery behind the plate. Now Rooney now, 1-1 one, one count. He'll wind and fire. It's in there for a ball. Montgomery, quick throw to third. He slides in safe. Starr swipes it on the pass ball. Starr, good hitter, but he's showing some good speed on the base path as well for this U32 Raiders team. As it'll be two balls and a strike now to, Mont uh, to Hoffman. Rooney got runners on the corners to deal with. Rooney's gonna wind and deliver. As Bourgeois will move up to second base on the pass ball. So three ball, three balls and a strike now to Hoffman at the plate from Rooney. Rooney now, he is from pitcher from the stretch because there's runners on base. Oh, and a bang bang play at the plate. A bang bang play at the plate. Montgomery did a good job to scurry back to the backstop to get to the ball. Flipped it quickly to Rooney. I thought the tag beat him, but I'm um, called him safe. <laughs> so a close play at the plate, but the Raiders up one nothing with a runner now at third base. Great play, though. Great play. So now Bourgeois will move up to third base. 42! As Keane stands in for the Raiders. The center fielder. Rooney now from the stretch. He'll wind and fire. Keane shows bunt. Pops it right back behind the home plate. And nice play there by Rooney, gets off the mound and fired to Montgomery at the plate who applied the tag and they got him at home. 
Rooney made the decision to go and try and get the lead runner at home plate. I think a lot of guys would scoop that up and fire to first to get the sure out, but nonetheless, it worked out for the Wildcats. Nice play there by Rooney hurrying off the mound. So now runners at first and second as Keen will reach on the fielder's choice. As Hayes stands in for the Raiders. Rooney winds and fires. Big swing and a miss there by Hayes at the plate. Haynes, I'm sorry. So Lyle Rooney back on the rubber now. From the set, he'll wind and fire. And that's fouled away, so he is quickly behind 0-2 at the plate. So Haynes will stand back in now. He's the DH. Rooney now winds and fires. And swung on and missed, strike three. So we head to the bottom of the first inning. Hayes and trails, one nothing. I will take a second now. Read our sponsors here. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and DR Property Maintenance, 793-7388. Call the doctor for all your property needs. You're watching HCTV Channel 1080 and archived at www.hctv.us. So through one inning, Wildcats got some runners on base, but they were able to get out of trouble there. Worked their way out of trouble. Rooney did a good job to settle back in and work out of the jam and only allow one run. So Hayes and Bats are gonna get going now. Get ready as they face the pitcher. Hoffman, I believe. Yes, Hoffman will be on the mound for the U32 Raiders. Once again, I'll go through the lineup for the uh, Wildcats, the batting order, hitting leadoff, Tyson Davis in the second baseman. Hitting second, Tyler Rivard, the shortstop. Hitting third, James Montgomery, the catcher. Hitting fourth, uh, Jaden Baker, the center fielder. Hitting fifth, Lyle Rooney, the pitcher. Hitting sixth, Jazz Zendik, he's the left fielder. Hitting seventh, Andrew Menard, the third baseman. Hitting eighth, Dan DeGrosliers, the right fielder. And hitting ninth, Aisha Gould, the first baseman. That's the batting order today for Spencer Howard's Hazen Wildcats. Hoffman for the U32 Raiders on the mound. He seems like he throws the ball real hard, has good stuff, as does Rooney. So Tyson Davison making his way in. Tyson Davison making his way in to uh, the plate, the leadoff man for the Wildcats. Still have to contend with Hoffman for the Raiders. Hey, we got nobody, boys, nobody. What do you say, two? So Hoffman now on the rubber. First pitch ball, a good eye there by Davison to watch that one low and away. Hoffman back on the rubber, he'll wind and fire. Davison takes a big cut at that one, swing and miss. One and one. Hayes and Bats trying to get going, trying to even the score, take the lead. 
Two balls, one strike now to Davison from Hoffman on the mound. Hoffman back on the rubber, he winds and fires. That's outside for a ball. Good eye by Davison at the plate. Just a bit outside as Hoffman tried the corner and missed. Hoffman now from the set, he'll wind and fire. Davison fouls that one back. That one's headed towards Hayes and Union. Back into the parking lot behind us. So, count runs full now to Davison. Three and two. That's inside for a ball, good eye. So Davison will draw the walk against Hoffman. And now the big power bat, the shortstop of Tyler Revard stands in for the Hayes and Union Wildcats. So Hoffman back on the rubber. He's got a runner at first to contend with. He fires and Revard hard hit single to center field. That one took a high hop. But that was a nice play by their center fielder Keen out there to play the hop. Standing in now is James Montgomery, the catcher for the Hazen Union Wildcats. Hoffman now, runners at first and second. Nobody out. So, Hazen trying the old double steal there. I believe Davison will be out at third base and Revard safe at second. Oh no, Davison safe. So I think they're disputing a potential balk on the mound for the U32 Raiders because he did not take a full step off the rubber when he threw. And for those of you that don't know, if he keeps his foot on the rubber and you turn and throw, that is a balk. So we're going to have a bit of a conference here. The umpires to talk it over to decide the play. So the runners are staying put for the Wildcats right now. So, Mom's disputing still. If the call remains, the Wildcats will have runners at second and third with nobody out. Hoffman was getting ready to, or Montgomery was getting ready to face his first pitch. And, uh, he turned and fired because Davison took off. I thought Davison had the steal easy. Was so Davison will be out at third base. They're gonna say he did not balk on the mound. So Davison will be out at third base. So Revard will move up 90 feet to second base. One out now for the Wildcats. Montgomery will stand back in. As Howard is pleading his case at third base. But to no avail. Don't blame him, wanted to get some clarification there on what happened. Hoffman now back on the rubber. He's got a runner at second, which is Revard. Now he'll wind and deliver. Inside for a ball. Nice eye there by Montgomery to watch that one. Hoffman now back on the rubber. He winds and fires. And Montgomery will wave and miss. One ball, one strike, one out for the Hazen Wildcat offense. Hoffman winds and delivers. That's in there for a strike. Nice pitch by Hoffman. Montgomery watched that one go right down the pipe. Hey, 
Hoffman now back on the rubber. He winds and fires as Montgomery does a good job to foul that one back to the cage. Hoffman now, he'll receive a ball from the umpire. Back on the mound. He winds and fires. Hard hit ball to first base. Rebar takes a big turn at third base, but he'll have to hold up there. So hard hit ball by Montgomery to first base, but he'll step on the bag himself for the out. So two down now. As Jaden Baker stands in for the Hazen Wildcats now. So Jaden Baker with a runner at third and two down. Hoffman will wind and fire. That's outside for a ball. Good eye by Baker at the plate. Hoffman winds and delivers. That's inside for a ball. Two balls, no strikes. To Jaden Baker. That's outside for a ball. Three and zero. Oh. Now to Baker. And Baker swings and misses. Good pitch there by Hoffman. Three balls and a strike. Hoffman now back on the rubber. He winds and fires. Swing and a miss by Baker. Now the count runs full after being ahead 3-0. Hoffman works very, very quickly on the mound. And Baker puts that one in play. And nice stretch by the first baseman there to retire the side. After one, Hazen trails one to nothing. So, take time now. Read our sponsors here. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics. And DR Property Maintenance, 793-7388. Call the doctor for all your property needs. You're watching HCTV Channel 1080 and archived at www.hctv.us. So Rooney back on the bump now. Or I believe he's going to resume action on the mound for the Hazen Union Wildcats. Had a pretty solid first inning. Allowed a run, but was able to work his way out of some deeper trouble on the mound. As Rooney's going to take some time to warm up before the top half of the inning starts. As Dowling is going to be the first battery faces for the U32 Raiders. Rudy continues to warm on the mound. Montgomery calls for balls in, so the infielders and outfielders will throw their balls that they were warming up with inside. So Rudy can focus. Rudy continues to stay loose on the mound. As number 25, Dowling is going to stand in for the U32 Raiders. He's the right fielder. Rooney now on the rubber. Rooney now on the rubber. He will wind and fire. And Dowling fouls that one hard down the third baseline. Scoots foul, hard hit though. Dowling certainly got a piece of that one. Would have been a nice hit if he could straighten it out. Rooney winds and fires. 
Whew, that's in there for a ball. Looked good, just a bit low by Rooney. One ball, one strike. Rooney wins and fires. That's hit hard on the ground. Davison scoops it up. He fires to Gould at first and he's out. Nice play there by Davison. Moving to his right, fields it cleanly and made a good throw to Aisha Gould at first base. Now standing in, Lutz, the second baseman. Rooney now winds and fires. That's hit hard. Pop up oh, over the jumping head of Davison. And that's booted out there in right field, but the runner will hold at first base. So a base hit for Lutz. Hard hit. Davison tried to make a leap for it. Couldn't put the mitt to it at second base. Did his best Dustin Pedroia there to haul that one in, but couldn't. Mike, what do you need? What do you need? As Shafi stands in now for the U32 Raiders. He is the catcher. Quick snap throw back to first. Try and pick him off. But to no avail for Rooney on the mound. Rooney now back on the set. He'll wind and deliver. First pitch ball to Shafi. Rooney takes a quick look to first base. Back on the rubber, he'll wind and deliver. That's low for a ball. Nice stop there by Montgomery behind the plate to block it off his chest. Keep it right in front of him. So two balls, no strikes. It's to Shafi, the catcher for the U32 Raiders. Now Rooney from the set. He winds and fires, and that, that plunks Shafi right in the head. That's why we wear helmets, folks. So Rooney will on a base hit and a hit and a hit batsman to start the inning. And the leadoff man, Mislack, stands in. It's number 18, I believe that says Tavares on the lineup card. Will be a courtesy runner for the catcher, Lutz, or Shafi. So Rooney with runners at first and second, nobody out. Think he'd like to roll a double play ball here. Try and throw something low in the zone, maybe a change up. Get him to roll it over to second base. So Rooney takes a long look home. From the set now, he'll kick and deliver. That's popped up. Montgomery fields it. So they're going to say that that hit the ground and Montgomery scooped it up. So it'll be an out at first base. It looked like it was in the air, but it bounced right in front of home plate. Montgomery scooped it up and threw to first to get the runner. But Lutz will move up to third and Shafi, or Tavares will move up to second base. As Starr stands in now, he had a hard hit single his first at bat. So, two ducks on the pond for the Raiders. As Rooney from the rubber, he'll wind and deliver. That's hit hard on the ground to first. Gould scoops it up, takes it to the bag himself, and that will retire the side. Good job there to hold the runners at third base. That'll do it. So, take a quick read of our sponsors here. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and DR Property Maintenance, 793-7388. Call the doctor for all your property needs. 
You're watching HGTV Channel 1080, archived at www.hctv.us. So, the Wildcat Bats looking to get going here, trying to push at least a run across, if not more. Try and take the lead here. Rooney again does a good job to get out of a early jam in the top half. Hoffman's going to remain on remain on the bump for the Raiders. I knew this was going to be a good game coming in today, folks. Two extremely talented baseball teams going at it. So Lyle Rooney will stand in to lead off the inning for the Hazen Union Wildcats. Like I said, Hoffman will remain on the hill for the Raiders. So Rooney stands in now. Hoffman now from the set. He fires a first pitch ball. In there, nice eye by Rooney. Second pitch is a ball in there. Rooney does a good job to watch it. And foul tipped for a strike. Two balls and a strike now to Rooney. That's outside for a ball. Nice pitch. By Hoffman. Looked, looked good, but just outside. Hoffman winds and fires. Rooney hits it hard on the ground. Shortstop scoops it up. He'll fire to first and get him. So quickly one away for the Hazen Wildcats as Jas Zendik stands in now for the Hazen Union Wildcats. The left fielder. Hoffman now from the set. He'll wind and deliver. That's foul back to the cage. So Hoffman now, back to the rubber. And he cracks a single up the middle. Nice pitch there by Jas Zendik. Hard hit single. So he'll get the Wildcats on the board, their first hit of the inning. As Lance Hall would call him. Last year, Andrew the Mahler Menard stands in for the Hazen Union Wildcats. Andrew, good pitcher as well as a good third baseman and a solid hitter for this Hazen Wildcat team. That's fouled back, almost right to his parents. So 0-1 now, Zendik was on the move, I believe. The Wildcats had a hit and run executed right there. So, time at the plate now. Hoffman back from the set. Quick snap throw to first. They won't get him. You see the uh, Hazen Wildcat bench getting loud. As that ball gets back to the screen, so Zendik will move up 90 feet to second base without an issue. One ball, one strike, one out for the Hazen Wildcats in the bottom of the second inning. Hey, Red, keep it towards us, right? Not them, keep it towards us. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. 
So Hoffman back on the rubber, he winds and fires. That's, that's inside for ball, two and one now. Menard had to duck out of the way of that one. Hoffman winds and delivers. Menard hits a little roller to the shortstop. Menard digging to first base and he is safe. So the Wildcats will tie this game at one. Menard hit a little dribbler to the shortstop. He fielded it and then that will be an E6, a throwing error on the shortstop as he overthrew the first baseman. So Menard will reach on an error at second base and that will still be an RBI for him as they knock the game up at one apiece. Nice little dribbler there by Menard, but hey, you know, sometimes that's all it takes. A little small ball, a little small ball gets the run home sometimes. That's all you need. A little dispute now between the field umpire and the U32 head coach. So now we'll have a dispute by the umpires. They'll have a quick conference. I believe there was a potential challenge on the, uh, I think they're trying to call it interference on uh, Zendik. But I didn't think so. As Dan DeGrosliers is set to stand in for the Wildcats. No, 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 he does whenever Hoffman is, uh, whenever the conference is done and Hoffman gets ready to throw again, he will face Dan DeGrosliers. I feel bad if I'm saying that last name wrong. I say it a, said it a couple different ways. I think DeGrosliers is how you say it, so that's what I'm going with. So the conference continues. Hold the mound. So I believe the umps have came to a decision and they're gonna call interference at second base. So that will be an out. So that run I don't believe will score. I believe they're gonna call Jess Zendik for interference and I'm not sure what for really, to be honest. Looked fine from up here, but. Howard is frustrated and rightfully so, I would be too. So, run stays. I thought they were going to call it interference. I believe. I thought that was the conclusion they came to, but I guess they're going to let the run stay, and Menard will stay at second base. So, so I believe the they did not call interference. Even though I thought it was, or the umps thought it was. I didn't think it was. So DeGrosslier stands in now. Hoffman winds and fires. That's a bouncer right back to him. 
Menard trying to get in his head for a minute there. He'll flip on the first though and get the out. So two away as the lefty Aisha Gould will stand in now for the Wildcats, or I'm sorry, the righty. He throws lefty, bats righty. So Gould will stand in to face Hoffman, runner at second, two outs. 1-1 one, one ball game. That's fouled back to the cage by Gould. So Hoffman back on the rubber. Hill will wind and deliver. That's low for the ball. Good eye there by Gould. One ball, one strike. Beautiful day for baseball today. Hoffman winds and fires. They took a quick look to second base. Nice stretch by the first baseman to pick it. So after two, 1-1 one, one ball game. Take a quick second right now to uh, read our sponsors. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and DR Property Maintenance, 793-7388. Call the doctor for all your property needs. You're watching HCTV Channel 1080 and archived at www.hctv.us. So Rooney, back to the rubber again for the Wildcats. He's pitched a whale of a game so far for the Wildcats. Keeping them out of trouble. Keeping runners from scoring, doing a good job. I think it's hard to hit a guy that uh, throws heat the way uh, Rooney does and has good off-speed and breaking stuff as well, so it makes it tough to hit. So Bourgeois will be the first batter to stand in and face Rooney. The three, four, five hitters do up, so part of the order do up for the U32 Raiders as Bourgeois stands in. Rooney now, back to the rubber. He'll dig in. Rooney winds and fires. That's in there for a strike. Nice first pitch by Rooney. In there for a strike. Rooney now from the set. He'll wind and fire. That's hit hard on the ground. Shortstop Revard scoops it up. He fires to Gould at first, and there is a quick out. Revard at shortstop scooped that up. No issue. Made a good throw across the diamond. And now Hoffman, the pitcher, will stand in for the Raiders. Oh, that's low for a ball. Good pitch there by Rooney. Good curveball right on the corner. Thought it caught enough of the zone, but a little low. Rooney now winds and fires. Hoffman will watch that one for a strike. Good pitch there by Lyle Rooney. The ace of the staff for this Hazen Wildcat team. You don't have to grant it. I wanted to. Why? My decision. I don't want to hear another word. So they called time at the plate as Rooney was about to deliver the pitch, which that is incredibly uncommon. So Rooney now back on the set. 1-1 one, one count to Hoffman. And that's rope towards left field. And that's that. That's down. That dropped right in front of Jas Zendik in left field. 
As now Keen will stand in. I'm surprised Zendik didn't try and lay out, flash the leather on that one, make a play. But that was a hard ball to read. Rooney now from the set. He'll wind and deliver. Nice block by Montgomery behind the plate. So first pitch ball. Rooney got a runner at first with a one out. Quick pickoff move to first base. That was a good move too. I thought Rooney had him there. But Hoffman dove back safe. That's fouled back behind the home plate. Hard hit. One ball, one strike, one out for the Wildcats. Top of the third. Montgomery, quick throw to second base, but not in time to get him. Good throw by Montgomery, thought he had him, just a little too far left. So a ball and two strikes now to Keene. Rudy now, quick look to second, another one. He'll wind and deliver. That's low for a ball, look good. That one just missed by Rooney. Good pitch. Rooney winds and fires. Drop third strike. So they'll eat the strike out there. And Montgomery with nice heads up play to go to third there and get the tag. Shocked, I was shocked the runner was in motion there going to third base. He's on a drop third strike. Normally you're not uh, in motion. You're gonna stay usually. So shocked to see him in motion, but Montgomery made a nice heads up play to go to third to get him. So they'll eat the strike out there. And uh, Keen will reach. Hayes stands in now. Montgomery with a high throw, that scoots into the outfield. Nice back up there by Jaden Baker in center field. So that ball doesn't get too far. First pitch ball there by Rooney. That one must have slipped out of Montgomery's hand behind home plate. Must not have had enough dirt on it. So Rooney back from the set. He's got a runner at second. Two down. He'll wind and fire. That's a nice pitch for a strike. Rooney now back from the set. 1-1 one, one count to Haynes. Rooney winds and fires. Tried the breaking ball there. Couldn't get it to drop. So Rooney winds and fires now. Swing and a miss by Haynes. Two balls, two strikes. Runner at second, two away. Rooney winds and fires. That's it on the ground, shortstop. Nice play by Rivard. He'll fire to Gould at first base. That will retire the side. So, after a couple runners get on again, Rooney does a good job to hold them. Nice work, Rick. Way to get out of that. Take a second to read our sponsors. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics. 
and DR Property Maintenance, 793-7388. Call the doctor for all your property needs. You're watching HCTV Channel 1080 and archived at www.hctv.us. So the leadoff man, Tyson Davison now. He will stand in for your Hazen Union Wildcats. Hoffman remains on the mound for the U32 Raiders. Hoffman from the set, he'll wind and fire. First pitch ball by Hoffman. As, uh, you know, like I said, Hoffman works very fast on the mound. Up behind third base. And the Raiders third baseman puts that one away without a whimper. Can of corn for him over there at third base. Now the big power bat of Kyler Rivard stands in for the Hazen Union Wildcats. The big shortstop. Rivard, a three-sport athlete, and he's a very, very good one at that. Plays soccer, basketball, and baseball, and is very good at all three. First pitch strike by Hoffman after the pop out by Davison. Hoffman winds and fires. Yes, sir. And they say Rivard went, so that'll be a called strike. No balls, two strikes, one out. Rivard trying to put the barrel on one here and drive it. That's inside for a ball. One ball, two strikes. One out for the Wildcats. Hoffman winds and fires. And Rivard hits that one hard up the middle for a base hit. That's the one Rivard was looking for. He was waiting on a pitch to drive. So now the big bat of James Montgomery will stand in. So Hoffman's got a runner at first base with a one out. Hoffman from the set, he winds and fires. Rebard in motion. And he dives into second base safely. Throw was a little high, so I think Rebard would have made it either way. But he is safe. One ball, no strikes. It's the first pitch ball to Montgomery. Hoffman winds and fires. That bounces in there. Out of play. So that will be a passed ball. Rivard will move up 90 feet to third base. So with one out, two balls to Montgomery. He's got a real chance to put the Wildcats ahead here with a runner at third base. And Montgomery will foul that one back. Montgomery sitting on something, waiting to drive a pitch here. He's on it. Montgomery is certainly on it. He's just waiting for his pitch to drive. So now the count to two and two. Runner at third. Montgomery calls time at the plate. So Hoffman now back on the rubber. He'll wind and deliver. And Montgomery foul tip into the catcher's mitt for a strike. Montgomery not happy about that one as a stranded runner at third base. As Jaden Baker will stand in now. Baker, a very good hitter for the Wildcats, as most of the guys are in this lineup. Two outs, runner at first. First pitch from Hoffman, and Baker tries to lay down a bunt, and he fouls it off. Surprise move there for the bunt with a runner at third. The only time you're bunting with a runner at third there is if you're bunting for a base hit. You're not bunting for a sacrifice at that point, because there's two outs. Hey. 
So Hoffman back on the rubber. Hell will wind and deliver. Ooh, I thought that was a bit outside, but a call, strike two to Jaden Baker. Hoffman winds and fires. And swing and a miss by Baker. So the Wildcats will strand a runner in third base. After three, it's a 1-1 game. I'll take a second right now and read our sponsors. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and BR Property Maintenance, 793-7388. Call the doctor for all your property needs. You're watching HCTV Channel 1080 and archived at www.hctv.us. We'll be right back. So now Dowling will stand in for the U32 Raiders. And he will face Lyle Rooney, who remains on the mound for the Hazen Wildcats at the top of the fourth. Still knotted up at one run apiece. As I expected, folks, it's been a real good one today here at Hudson Field. Rooney winds and fires. Dowling shows bunt, keeps it down for a first pitch strike by Rooney. Rooney now kicks and delivers. That's low for a ball. One ball, one strike, no outs. Rooney now winds and fires. That's inside for a ball. Two and one. To Dowling. Rooney now. From the set. He'll wind and fire. That's high for a ball. Three and one. So Rooney now back on the rubber. He'll wind and fire. That's hit hard on the ground. First baseman Gould scoops it up and he'll step on the bag. As you see the uh, Dowling there really flung his bat over beyond first base there. I don't think that was a very good idea. As Lutz stands in now for the U32 Raiders. Rooney now from the set. He winds and fires. That's high for a ball. One and oh. Hey, be selective. Now Rooney winds and fires. That's inside for a ball. That one almost got him. Two balls, no strikes, one out, top of the fourth. That's in there for a strike. Nice pitch by Lyle Rooney for the first strike. Rooney now winds and fires. That is low for a ball. Looked good right at the knees. So Rooney back on the rubber now with a three and one count. He'll wind and fire. That's in there for a strike. Curveball looks good. That's a real nice curveball by Lyle Rooney. Rooney winds and fires. Swing and a miss. Strike three. 
Lyle Rooney job, Lyle. gets him swinging for a second strikeout of the day. So Shafi stands in now. He'll face Rooney. Rooney from the rubber now, he sets. He'll wind and fire. That's high for a ball. Good patience, good patience. 1-0 now. Rooney now back on the rubber. Face Shofi. He winds and fires. That's low in the dirt. Nice block by Montgomery behind home plate. Rooney back on the rubber now. The 2 0 pitch. He'll wind and deliver. Swing and a miss. Shofi. Swung for the fences on that one, couldn't get it. Two balls and a strike. Now to Shofi. Rooney winds and fires. That's on the corner for a strike. So now Rooney fights it back two and two. Let's go, Pete. Rooney winds and fires. That's in there, called, strike three. And Shofi's a pair of shoes at home plate. So, heading to the bottom of the fourth, I'll do a quick read of our sponsors here. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics. And DR Property Maintenance, 793-7388. Call the doctor for all your property needs. You are watching HCTV Channel 1080 and archived at www.hctv.us. We'll be right back, folks. So Hoffman will remain on the mound for the U32 Raiders. Lyle Rooney, the pitcher, will stand in now. Hoffman winds and fires. That's high for a ball. 1-0. We head to the bottom of the fourth. Still knotted up at one apiece. And Rooney pops that one up. Second baseman fields it. Rooney digging to first base, but to no avail. Nice play by the second baseman to get it on to first quickly for the out. As Jazz Zendik stands in now. First pitch, he'll watch for a strike. Zendik waiting on a pitch to drive. Swing and a miss. 0-2, nice pitch by Hoffman. Zendik scored the only run of the game for the Wildcats today. And Zendik will go down on three pitches, so Hoffman picks up the K on the mound. And now Andrew the Mahler Menard stands in for the Hazen Union Wildcats. The third baseman. As Wildcats quickly have two outs, so uh, Menard trying to get something going for the Wildcats. That's high for a ball. 1 0 from Hoffman. Maybe it's just me, folks, but I think Hoffman works pretty fast on the mound. So that's fouled off the catcher. I think, you know, Hoffman gets set and he's ready to throw immediately. So he works pretty, pretty fast on the mound for this Raiders team. He's a good pitcher, too, throwing the ball really well today for them. Hoffman winds and fires. That's inside for a ball. Two balls and a strike now to Menard. Good eye there. Low for a ball from Hoffman. So now it's three and one to Menard. And he'll watch that one, so Menard will walk. 
Menard drove in the run for the Wildcats earlier, as now Dan DeGroslier stands in for the Wildcats. Hoffman's got a runner at first to deal with, with two outs. Hoffman kicks and delivers. That's on the corner for a strike. Nice pitch there by Hoffman. That's high for a ball, one and one. Like I said, you don't even really have time to blink and Hoffman throws the next pitch. The girls the ears trying to get a hit here. Snap throw back to first, Menard dives in safe. Hoffman back on the rubber now. He'll wind and fire. And DeGrosliers hits it right back to him, and he'll flip it over to first for the out. So the Wildcats go quietly after four. The game remains one to one. I'll take a quick second to read our sponsors. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and DR Property Maintenance, 793-7388. Call the doctor for all your property needs. If you're watching HCTV Channel 1080, archived at www.hctv.us. We'll be right back, folks. So Rooney back on the mound now for the Wildcats. We're back, folks. Rooney enters his fifth inning of work. Higher chopper up the middle. Davison there. He throws to first. Nice pick at first base by Gould. Throw in the dirt, but the good pick at first by Gould. Keeps the out. So that was Mislack, the leadoff hitter. Uh, Star stands in now. So Rooney from the rubber. He'll wind and fire. That's low for a ball. Nice stop by Montgomery. Rooney back on the rubber. He'll wind and deliver. That's low for a ball. 2-0. Rooney now kicks and delivers. That's high for a ball, 3 0. Two star at the plate. Rooney trying to settle in here, throw a strike. Rooney now winds and fires. That looked good, but it's outside for a ball, so Rooney will issue the free pass. As Bourgeois stands in for the U32 Raiders. Bernie now from the from the set takes a quick look at first base. He'll wind the fire. That's low for a ball. Five straight balls by Rooney. Got to try and throw a strike here. First pitch to Bourgeois was a ball. Rooney now from the stretch. He'll snap one to first base. And he is picked off at first base. Nice snap throw there by Rooney back to the bag. Nice quick pickoff move, and he gets star at first base. Something you don't see every day, a guy getting picked off. Caught him sleeping over there at first. So two outs now. One ball, no strikes to Bourgeois at the plate. So Rooney now doesn't have any runners to worry about. He can just settle in, focus on the runner now. He can go back to the windup. That's a high twisting fly ball towards right field. Oh, and Davison, the second baseman, comes over and puts it away. So a nice inning there for the Hazen Wildcat defense. Now they got to get the bats going. I'll take a second here. Thank our sponsors. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522.
We support Hazen Athletics and BR Property Maintenance, 793-7388. Call the doctor for all your property needs. You're watching HCTV Channel 1080, archived at www.hctv.us. We'll be right back, folks. We're back, folks, here at Hudson Field, home of your Hazen Wildcats. Hoffman enters his fifth inning of work for the U32 Raiders. He remains on the hill. He's pitched well today for the Raiders as well as he's held to Wildcats only one run. That's inside for a ball. Good eye there by Gould. He'll watch it inside. That's low for a ball, 2-0. Gould trying to wait on a pitch to drive here. That's another ball, 3-0 quickly from Hoffman to Gould. There's the strike. Don't blame Gould a bit there. Normally when it's 3-0, you're fully taken no matter what, so. Don't blame him for watching that one. Hoffman winds and fires. And that's a strike on the corner. Just caught a piece. So now the count runs full, three and two to Gould. As Hoffman continues to work very quickly on the mound, he'll wind the fire. And Gould drives one towards left field, but no problem out there. Can of corn for the left fielder. Routine play. So now back to the leadoff man, Tyson Davison. He'll stand in. Davison going to try and get something going for this Hazen Wildcat offense. Which has struggled to get some hits so far, but that's because they're facing a good pitcher on the other side. Davison, first pitch, he wanted that one. Fouled it off towards the Hudson soccer field. Hoffman winds and fires. Davison drives that one. That's down the right field line, but that'll hook foul. Good effort, kids. Right fielder laid out for it, but like his effort, but it still hooked foul. Davison now he's behind in the count 0 2, so anything close he's got to protect. And waved at and missed, so Hoffman will pick up the strikeout. I believe that's his third or fourth of the day. So now the big power bat of Tyler Revard, the three-sport athlete, stands in. Good soccer, good soccer and basketball player as well. I would say this past season, most notably for basketball, that's high for a ball. as Hoffman winds and fires. That's it on the corner for a strike, a one ball, one strike. Two outs now for the Wildcats. I should say for the Raiders in the field. And Revard hits that one hard and a nice diving play by the second baseman. That one had base hit written all over it, but the Raider defense takes that one away. So I'll take a second to read our sponsors. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and DR Property Maintenance, 793-7388. Call the doctor for all your property needs. You're watching HCTV Channel 1080, archived at www.hctv.us. We'll be right back, folks. And we are back, folks. Here at Hudson Field on the campus of Hazen Union High School in Hardwick, Vermont. So Hoffman will stand in now for the U32 Raiders as Rooney remains on the slab for the Wildcats. He'll wind and fire. That's low for a ball. So Rooney back on the rubber now to the set. 
He'll wind and deliver. That's low for a ball. Nice block by Montgomery behind home plate. He's done a very, very good job at stopping any ball in the dirt behind home plate. Two and zero oh now to Hoffman. Rooney kicks and delivers. That's a high twist and pop up. Rivard calling for it, and he puts it away. Nice play by Tyler Rivard at shortstop. He did a good job there to call for it. Say, I got it. Which over on that side of the field, the shortstop has priority. On the right side, the second baseman does. Now Rooney winds and fires. That'll get by for a ball. As Keen stands in now, center fielder for the Raiders. Rooney now to the set. He'll kick and deliver. That's low for a ball. Two balls, no strikes now. Rooney winds and fires. That's low for a ball, 3-0. Two keen. In the top of the sixth inning. Rooney winds and fires. That's inside for a ball, so a four pitch walk to Keene from Rooney. Seems like as we go a little later into this game, Rooney's lost a little zip on his fastball. But that's probably because the fatigue, the fatigue is setting in a little bit, which is natural, completely normal. So a runner on first with one out. Haynes stands in. As Hulse will pinch hit for Haynes. Hulse was already playing shortstop, so he'll grab a bat and hit now, and he remains on the mound. Or he will remain in the field, but he's going to hit now for the first time today, so pinch hit for Haynes. As Hulse stands in. So Rooney will go back to the rubber. He'll face holes for the first time. Rooney will have a runner at first to deal with. Rooney now back on the rubber. He will wind and fire. And a whole stress to lay down a bunt. Off the mound goes Rooney. And throw to first and he's out. That was a bang, bang play at first base. The field umpire says he's gone. So two outs now for the Wildcats. Rooney did a nice job to get off the mound in a hurry. So Dowling is going to stand in now for the U32 Raiders. Rooney will step off and look to second. Get back. Two outs now for the Wildcats, top of the sixth. Hey, let's go, 
go, Kev. Big spot here. Big spot. Come on, Kev. Let's go, kid. Rooney's going to wind and deliver. Slow for a ball. One ball, no strikes, two outs. Hey, all we need is a nice line drive. Let's go, Kev. Let's go, Kev. Keep it simple, 2 5. Keep it simple. You're good, AK. You're good. You're good. Nobody. That's in there for a strike. Nice pitch there by Lyle Rooney right down the pipe. One and one the count now. Rooney will kick and deliver. Slow for a ball. Nice stop there by Montgomery to hold the runner at second. Two balls and a strike. Two down. Top of the sixth. Rooney winds and fires. That's cracked out towards center field. Baker calling for it, and he puts it away. So the U32 Raiders leave a runner at second. Take a second here. Thank our sponsors. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and DR Property Maintenance, 793-7388. Call the doctor for all your property needs. You are watching HCTV, HCTV channel 1080, archived at www.hctv.us. We'll be right back, folks. So, bottom of the sixth. Game knotted up at one apiece. James Montgomery stands in now for the Hazen Union Wildcats. Hoffman is going to remain on the hill for the U32 Raiders. No need to take him out. He's thrown well. Hoping the Wildcats can bust, uh, find a way to break something open here. As Montgomery fouls that one back to the screen. Hoffman now, back from the set. He'll wind and fire. Montgomery shows bunt, pulls it back for a ball. One ball, one strike. No outs. Hoffman winds and fires. And that's poked down the right field line. That's going to be a base hit for James Montgomery. So a leadoff knock for Montgomery trying to get something going early for the Hayes and Wildcats. Jaden Baker now looking to put the bat on something. Now Hoffman, he's got Montgomery to do with at first base. He'll snap one over. Montgomery dives back safely. Hoffman, another throw back to first. Montgomery will get back safely there, too. So, no outs in the bottom of the sixth. That was a hard hit ball by Baker towards second base. Montgomery will move up 90 feet to second. So. That'll be a sacrifice for Jaden Baker. As Lyle Rooney, the number five hitter, will stand in now. That's inside for a ball. One ball, no strikes, one out. Hoffman winds and fires. That's low for a ball, 2-0. and oh. Hoffman continues to work fast on the mound. I feel like that's been one of the toughest things for this Wildcat offense is because Hoffman works so fast, it's hard to really get your timing right on him. Rooney fouls that one back over behind first. Two balls and a strike, one out. Back. 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 Oh, we got it. 
Montgomery safe at second base, close play. Hoffman back on the rubber now. He'll wind and fire. And that'll get back to the backstop. He took a long look at Montgomery who took off. Fooled him, I think. Helen slipped out of the hands of Hoffman and got all the way to the backstop. So Montgomery will move up 90 feet. Two balls and a strike now to Rooney at the plate. So Rooney gonna try and choke up here and base hit, try and score Montgomery from third base. And Rooney pokes one to right field. That's down. Montgomery's gonna tag. And Montgomery will dive in safe. So James Montgomery will score the run and put the Wildcats up two to one. So a sack fly and an RBI for Lyle Rooney. Two down for the Wildcats. As Jas Zendik stands in. Hey, it's not enough, Red. Let's go. Hey, two one. Hey, two two. Hey, two one. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So Hoffman now back on the rubber. Hoffman now back on the rubber. No wind and deliver. And Zendik fouls that one off. No balls and a strike now to Zendik. Hoffman winds and fires. Swing and a miss by Zendik. Hoffman winds and fires. Zendik fouls that one back. Behind home plate. So no balls, two strikes. Zendik got to protect. Hoffman winds and delivers. Zendik hits that one hard foul over behind third. So the count remains 0-2. Zendik fighting at the plate. Zendik fouls that one off. He's really making Hoffman work on the mound now. Hoffman winds and fires. Zendik will foul another one back. So Hoffman will stand back on the rubber now, 0-2 to Zendik. Hoffman kicks and delivers. That's outside for a ball, good eye by Zendik. One ball, two strikes, two outs for Zendik. Hoffman winds and fires. And drop third strike. They'll go down to first and get him. But after six, the Wildcats lead two to one. Take a second to thank our sponsors here one last time. Sponsored uh, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and DR Property Maintenance, 793-7388. Call the doctor for all your property needs. You're watching HCTV Channel 1080, archived at www.hctv.us. We'll be right back, folks. Let's go, six. Finish this now, kid. We're back, folks. So, top of the seven. Wildcats looking to get three quick outs here and get out of here. 
8-9-1, due up for the U32 Raiders. As Lutz stands in for the Raiders, Lyle Rooney staying on the mound for the Wildcats. Rooney now, he'll wind and fire. First pitch strike there by Rooney. Come on, Dylan, let's go, kid. You know this guy, let's go. So back on the rubber goes Rooney. He'll kick and deliver. That's high for a ball. One ball, one strike. That's down for a ball, two and one. Nice block by Montgomery. Montgomery, uh, <laughs> Rooney now, he'll wind and fire. Popped up foul. Two balls, two strikes. Rooney winds and fires. And that's rocketed, a fair ball down the left field line. Zendik's got to get it in quickly, and he does. So a leadoff double there by Lutz. And that is not what the Hazen Union Wildcats wanted to see to start the inning. Rooney tried the curveball, and Lutz turned it inside out. Hammered it down the left field line. So Shafi stands in now for the U32 Raiders. So that's in the dirt. Montgomery blocks it. Rooney back on the rubber. The line and fire. Shofi tries a bunt, that's a strike on the corner. One ball, one strike. No outs. A nice bunt there by Shofi. As Gould will tag him out. So one out, but that runner will move up 90 feet to third base. That's not a good position for him to be in for the Wildcats, only clinging to a one-run lead. Has Rooney yet again going to look to try and fight his way out of another jam today, which he has done so well. Let's have a day there, 15. Hey, just hit it hard. Just hit it hard. Come here, shoot him. As Mislack stands in, the leadoff hitter for the Raiders. Corners are gonna move in. So first pitch from Rooney. So they call a balk on Lyle Rooney and the runner scores to tie this game at two. I am not sure how he made it move to the plate and delivered. I'm not sure how that's a balk. If you make a move to the plate and deliver, that's not a balk. He didn't move his foot off the rubber or anything. Like, just don't understand how that's a balk. So Rooney is in frustration on the mound. Let's go, Sawyer! So Rooney is frustrated on the mound, as he should be. 
I would be too as a pitcher if I just made a nice delivery to the plate and they call a balk. I don't know how that was. But I really honestly am shocked. I try not to get on the humps too much, but. That was not good. One strike though. Rooney will wind and fire. That's, they say he went for a strike. Makeup call there by the home plate umpire. Had to give him a strike on that. So 0 and 2 now. Or 0 and 1 maybe. There's a strike. No balls, two strikes. Rooney just trying to settle in and get this guy at the plate now. Sawyer. You know what's up. Sawyer. Come on, Sawyer. Rooney winds and fires. Yep. That pitch looked good on the corner by Rooney. Rooney winds and delivers. That's fouled over behind third. So, one ball, two strikes, one out. Rooney kicks and delivers. That's a hard pass, Davison. And into right field for a base hit. After that, Bach, I think uh, it kind of threw off Rooney's composure a little bit, but. He's going to have to settle back in and try and get this hitter at the plate. Rooney up to this point has thrown a, a very, very good game for these Hayes and Wildcats today. As Star stands in. Nice pitch in there for a strike. Rooney back on the rubber. No wind and fire. That's outside for a ball. One ball, one strike, one out. Rooney now winds and delivers. And that's over the head of Davison at second base. And I think the leash is getting a little smaller and smaller for Rooney. I think he's running out of energy on the mound. But Coach Spencer Howard's going to let him go. Wants to see if he can finish it. Well, maybe not. Oh, <laughs> Howard is going to move the bat out of the way. I thought he was going to make a move to the mound there. So Bourgeois stands in now for the U32 Raiders. He's got runners at first and second with only one out. So Rooney's got to try and settle back in here. Strike by Rooney. Let's see if he can do it again. Rooney has worked out of every single jam he's gotten into on the mound today. Rooney now, he'll wind and deliver. That's in there for a strike, nice breaking ball. So 0-2 now to Bourgeois. And a quick double play to get out of the inning. So like I said, Laura Rooney, his defense backs him up there. Good job to work out of the inning. So we're going to head to the bottom of the seventh and see if these Wildcats can win it. Take a second to read our sponsors. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and PR Property Maintenance, 793-7388. Call the doctor for all your property needs. You're watching HCTV Channel 1080 and archived at www.hctv.us. We'll be right back. Hey, 
And we're back, folks. So your Hazen Wildcats here enter the bottom of the seventh. Still knotted in a 2-2 tie. They'll try and win it. And this is just as good a guy as any to get it started. Andrew DeMoller Menard will stand in to face Hoffman, who remains on the mound for the U32 Raiders. And they'll throw at him. Menard ain't faced a bit. He's a hockey player. So 0 and 1 now. That's it side. 2 and 0. Good eye by Menard at the plate. That's low for a ball. Good eye by Andrew Menard. Hoffman has gone 3 and 0 to Menard. So I would say Menard is probably taken all the way here. You're normally not swinging on 3 0 unless it's real good. Strike there. I was right. 3 and 1 now to Menard. And that's a ball, so Menard will draw the walk. And we'll get a runner up, and the Hazen Wildcats will get a runner up first. First batter. So Dan DeGrosliers is going to get pinch hit for. Fenton Meyer is going to pinch hit for Dan DeGrosliers. So Hoffman now, he'll face Meyer for the first time as he'll pinch hit. So Meyer should be going to first. He pulled it back and got hit in the head. And they will say, Meyer pulled back and got hit in the head. Now we're going to have another dispute because we've had a bunch of them today, so we might as well have another one. As Gould will get ready to stand in for the Wildcats. Five runners at first and second as he'll try and knock home the winning run for the Wildcats. Hey, we're bunt two, we're bunt three two. Three for seven. So now we'll have a pinch runner for Andrew Menard at second base. Wyatt Flanders is going to pinch hit or pinch run for Andrew Menard at second. So Fenton Meyer at first base. So Aisha Gould will stand in now. Hoffman now back on the rubber. So Flanders dives back into second safe, close play. Still no outs for the Wildcats. Gould gonna dig back in at the plate. Big lead for Flanders at second base. Dangerous move. Flanders will dive back safe again. Hey, what do you say, one three? Let's go, kid. Focus on the batter. Let's go. Hey, one three. Let's go, Dave. So now, Hoffman, he'll make a deal to the plate. Not the peak. Gould tries to bunt and fouls it off. 
So it'll be no balls and a strike to Gould now. I think he's got to try and shorten up here and put one in play. Hey, still one, two, still one, two. Gould pulls back the bunt, but called strike anyways. No balls, two strikes. So Gould's got to swing away now. Because if you foul one off on a bunt with two strikes, it's an out. Now he's got to swing. So <laughs> that should be a balk, folks, because if the pitcher steps off the rubber, he has to make a throw. If you step off the rubber, you have to make a throw to one of the bases. You can't just hold the ball when you step off the rubber. That's a balk. So he stepped off the rubber and held the ball. So Flanders should be moving up to third, and Fenton Meyer should be moving up to second, but they're not going to call it a balk because I don't know why, to be honest, but it clearly was. Well, Hoffman now winds and fires. That's outside. Good eye there by Aisha Gould to watch that go outside. One ball, two strikes. No outs. Bottom of the seventh, 2-2 two -two tie. And that's down, and Flanders is gonna come around to score, and the Hazen Wildcats are gonna win this one. Aisha Gould with the walk-off winner for the Hazen Wildcats, and they'll take this one three to two over the U32 Raiders. What a game today, folks. Thank you guys for watching. My James Salvis Player of the Game nomination is gonna go to Lyle Rooney today for pitching a great game on the mound for the Wildcats and keeping a minute. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We'll see you next time.